Welcome to this edition of Park Hill In Depth. We are at Park Hill South High School in their media center, which is currently under construction. And we're joined by our superintendent, Dr. Jeanette Coward, and our assistant superintendent for business and technology, Dr. Paul Kelly. Dr. Coward, we'll start with you. Can you give us a monthly update on our long range facilities plan? Sure. Uh, Hopewell Elementary School, we're just about ready to pour the footings on that, which will really get us started and hopefully soon get our billing permit and start seeing it come out of the ground. Uh, as far as Walden, it, Walden is doing really well. We're on the inside now, working on some of that, putting on the roof, finishing out the outsides, getting those exterior walls done. And our goal is by November to have what they call it buttoned up so we can go inside and then start working strictly on the inside of the building. So it's going really well. Uh, for the LEED Innovation Studio, we're finishing up the design process right now. And also as a part of the LEED project, we're actually doing some renovations on our fifth floor so we have room for our additional students this year uh, at our current lease site that we have going well, going uh, up north. And then support services is about to come online, we hope. Uh, we open bids for that next week. And then we hope to turn dirt for the new support services and transportation in October. Excellent, lots going on. Last month we discussed the need for redistricting K through 12. Overall, what do people need to know about the redistricting process? Well, I think first of all, they need to know that we have got a really great process in place to do this. And it involves an opportunity for them to provide feedback to us, but also an opportunity to understand the processes as it goes through the, uh, throughout the fall. One of the questions I've gotten is, so why December? Why do we need to move the date up so much? And really that comes from our families who really want to know, uh, but also it comes from our administrators and our teachers and staff at our secondary levels because as we get into December and January, we're starting to build schedules and we need to know where we're placing our students, how we're building our teams and how we're scheduling and then where our teachers go in order to support that as we move ahead. So there's a lot of moving parts that goes on with this and so it's important for us to move that schedule up. I think the other piece is it's, it's a good thing is because everybody currently just loves their school so much and their fear is being moved from their school and I think what a wonderful problem to have is that everybody loves their school that they're at. But as we move to this new process we also know that we also would like to get rid of our mobile units and get our students back inside where it's uh, just in within that school facility right now. We actually have had to add another mobile unit this summer uh, at Hawthorne. Uh, just because of the continuing growth that we have. And so we really need to do that to balance our enrollment as we move ahead. And then we also want to help our parents because if they do have some of those questions, uh, we do have those up on our website under frequently asked questions and we'll continue to update those as we receive uh, questions so that we can get those out to everybody in the public. Thank you very much, Dr. Coward. We're also joined by our Assistant Superintendent for Business and Technology, Dr. Paul Kelly. Dr. Kelly, thanks for being here. Can you tell us more about um, the beginning stages of redistricting and the criteria for that? Sure. So we, the reason why we're redistricting is to, uh, we're anticipating the, open, uh, of the opening of Walden Middle School and Hopewell Elementary in the fall of 2019. And so we are preparing for that and so our uh, time frame and, and this process is gearing towards that. Um, in order to open a secondary building such as Walden and elementary such as Hopewell, we'll need to redistrict both our elementary and secondary boundaries. And so uh, that's where we started. Uh, last month the board approved criteria for this process and so they, of course, we want to balance our enrollment. We'll have two brand new buildings and so we'll need to get kids um, out of the mobile units that we currently have and into our new buildings for 2019. So uh, balancing the enrollment will be uh, a main priority. But also amongst the criteria will be minimizing transportation distance so that we can improve safety. Um, maintaining subdivisions is another important criteria. Um, looking at socioeconomic balance between buildings and making sure that we uh, have a relative uh, amount of balance between uh, buildings, uh, elementary buildings, middle school and high school. Um, and then finally, the, the final criteria that the board approved was to minimize the number of students that change schools. Uh, and so we'll take all of that into consideration and that'll help guide the process. Can you tell us more about the timeline for redistricting? So the timeline began uh, officially with the board approval of the criteria last month. Moving forward, we're now into the application process by which community members uh, can submit an application uh, to express interest to serve on the committee. Uh, we will um, close that application process in July, um, July 20th, and ultimately take a, recommend, a set of uh, recommended 
uh, committee members to the board for approval on August 9th. Uh, our first meeting uh, will be scheduled for August 13th. Those meetings will be open to the public, so there will be one um, forum in which the public can, can listen and watch and, and watch this process. Uh, and then we'll meet regularly, uh, almost monthly, uh, throughout the end of the process in December. Thank you very much, Dr. Kelly, and thank you, Dr. Catworth. For continued updates on the redistricting plan and our Long Range Facilities Plan, be sure to check out our website at www.parkhill.k12.mo.us. With Paul Lewis behind the camera, I'm Samantha Fitzgerald, and we'll see you next month for another edition of Park Hill In-Depth.